Hey, it's you from before. So you came back, huh? It just clicked. Yeah. I thought I would come and offer my support. But who were you fighting? So, where is that wrinkly robot? He used the smoke to make his getaway. Damn it! Why didn't you try and save your wife and child just now? Foolishness. I have no interest in things like that. <laughs> I saw what looked like a badly damaged android on my way here. It looks like the androids you fought are different from the ones I've been fighting in my time. Then what the hell are we fighting? Uh, it's not that big of a deal, right? I mean, so history's a little different now. Wait, that creepy geezer was an android? Huh? Yeah. That might have been the actual Dr. Jero. I've seen a photo of him in one of my books. He probably modified himself to extend his life. No way. You mean, my coming here years ago changed history this much? It's true. You mentioned androids 17 and 18. Those were the two you were talking about, right? Tell us, what do they look like? Right. Android 17 is a young man with long black hair and a scarf around his neck. Android 18 is a young woman, and her outfit is more or less similar to mine. Wait, what? More or less similar to his? Uh, a female type? Oh, come on. Bulma, do you know where Dr. Giro's laboratory is? He's probably there right now. If I had to guess, it's likely in the mountains up north. I heard that he built it in a cave around there to do his experiments. To think he was a lackey for the Red Ribbon Army, that's crazy. That settles the matter then. We'll find the location of Dr. Giro's lab and destroy it well before he's able to activate androids 17 and 18. <laughs> I'm above such cowardly tactics. Let him activate them. I'll turn them into scrap with my bare hands. No! We have to destroy his lab before he activates the other androids. And if we can't, then we have to avoid fighting until Goku is fully recovered. We have no need for Kakarot. You're forgetting that I'm a Super Saiyan now, too. Ooh. And I'm no ordinary Saiyan. I'm the prince, which means I'm leagues above Kakarot in terms of power. Don't stand in my way. Vegeta may actually have what it takes to get rid of the androids. As a Super Saiyan, it might just work. How does that make any... Dude, Piccolo, Trunks is literally a Super Saiyan, you f moron. And he's saying that you should be afraid. I can transform into a Super Saiyan too. Yet, I was no match for them. Amazing. I'm going to. He's difficult to deal with, but I'm not about to watch my father die again. Uh, <laughs> father? Uh, did he say father? What did he mean? Guess there's no point in keeping it a secret. Not anymore. The kid's name is Trunks. Vegeta is his father. You're his mother. In other words, he's your son. Trunks is the grown-up version of the baby you're holding in your arms right now. What? Uh, really? Uh, well, that explains it. That's why he was able to go Super Saiyan. I think it's probably best we destroy the androids before they've been activated. You guys come with me. We're going to look for Dr. Giro's lab. Right. Bulma, this is important. Could you let my dad know what's going on? And tell him to come help when he feels better? Goku's gonna have to do like three fetch quests before he joins the fray well, again. I would, but how am I supposed to do that? Have you seen my plane? Gohan, head back and take her with you. Understand? We're more than strong enough to destroy the androids. Uh, okay, be careful. All right, let's go. We have to get there before Vegeta does. Right. 
so if Android 17 and 18 are activated, do you think Vegeta will be able to take them out? Hard to say, honestly. Let's just hope he can scrap those two before they're activated. If this, this is Dr. Jiro built looking. a lab in such a remote location, he must not like people very much. He wasn't exactly a well-respected scientist. No surprise there. It's over there! It's over there! It's close. And what just happened? How dare you? I created you! You didn't create us. We had lives before you ruined them. Listen to me. You must eliminate Goku's allies. They're coming. That's an order. Do you hear that? It's an order, Seventeen. We're not going to follow a single one of your orders. We're just going to take care of ourselves now. Geezer. Oh! There's another one. Geezer. Why is say like that? What in the world is going on in there? Geezer. Let's go. I feel a lot better now. Ew, that te the texture in the back <laughs> right there is, this is not a good, this isn't really the best place right now. <laughs> hey, what's that? I don't think I've seen you before, big guy. What's your number? 16. Android 16, huh? Interesting. So you're an I early- they were one. the ones that activated him, what the fuck? Uh, Android 16? I've never heard of an Android 16. Wait, so so those are the androids that Dr. Giro was talking about? Trunks, can you confirm that these are the androids you originally warned us about? Yeah, but I've never seen that large one they called 16 before. What? At least I haven't seen him in my time. So... What's going on here? It's changed again! Who cares? Just one more hunk of scrap to add to the pile I'm going to make. Wait, where's Dr. Giro? Oh, the old man? I took care of him. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Get going? To where? I'm not crazy about doing what Dr. Giro wants, but as androids, I think we should do something. So let's go kill this Goku guy. Hey, 16. You were created specifically to kill Goku, right? Correct. How the fuck would he know that? How would he know that? Well, I guess that settles it then. <laughs> Bye. Where are they going? Don't tell me they're actually going to try to find Goku. I couldn't give a damn about that. <laughs> How dare they? How dare they ignore the mighty Vegeta! Big Bang Attack Kill is now Kazarot. available. Oh, don't make me laugh. They're going to pay for not recognizing my power. Should put that on him real quick. Instead of this body smash. Time to get fucking wrecked, dude. Gonna Looks break like his arm. Gonna fuck him up. <laughs> Well, well, I didn't expect to see you rejects roaming around in here. What? But you, you did, though. You're they going just to like... tell me where you're going <laughs> right now, whether you want to or not. We're off to find Goku. We're going to kill him. See, that's what I thought. Too bad that's not going to happen. Because I'm going to blow every one of you to pieces. You Saiyans sure are full of yourselves, aren't you? That pride of yours. It's just gonna get you killed faster, you know. You've got quite the mouth on you for a machine. So who's up first? The punk? The woman? Or maybe I should just scrap all three of you trash cans at once. Wait, that's right. 
We still haven't seen what you can do, 16. Why don't you fight him? Negative. My prime directive is to eliminate only Goku. Wow. What a letdown. Fine. <laughs> I'll do it then. Vegeta! Are you alright? <laughs> so you came. You're really starting to piss me off. Vegeta and 18 are about to fight. So back off. What? Still. Just watching isn't much fun. I guess... I could play with you guys. You know what that means. You and I won't be having any interruptions. <laughs> be warned. I don't plan on going easy on you just because you're a woman. Damn. He don't give a fuck. He'll, he'll hit her. He don't give a <laughs> fuck. Don't tell me. That wasn't the best you can do, was it? Of course not. Jesus, Tell what the fuck even happened there. Big bang! Believe it! You're done! Oh no! Oh my god, dude! They are so spammy with this shit. Buy some more health. Let's go. What the fuck is even happening? You're done. Jesus, dude. Insane. Maybe I shouldn't admit this, but I'm actually kind of impressed you held out this long. <laughs> Damn you, woman. Now you've done it. Oh. I think it's time we end this little game. You're about done, right? Don't worry, they're still alive. You'd better hurry up, though. Give them those sensu beans of yours. So, should we get going? But, aren't we going to ask them the whereabouts of Goku? Nah. It'll be more fun if we have to find him ourselves. Ugh. You can be such a child sometimes, Seventeen. You know that? You think so? Whatever. I'm fine as long as we can make a stop. Whatever. In My clothes are a mess. I think I'm going to need a new outfit. Sure, why not? 
Hey! Wait! Wait! Huh? What do you want? What is it that you guys are after? I mean, why are you doing this? Well, first, we're gonna take care of Goku. I mean, why are you going after Goku? Hey, this is all just a game. I mean, Goku's the strongest guy around. Am I right? Doesn't even feel like this is like a natural conversation happening between these two. <laughs> like... You probably won't just stop because I asked you to, right? Negative. We were created for the sole purpose of eliminating Goku. You heard the big guy. But shouldn't you be helping your friends instead of talking to us? Yeah. They're gonna die. Yeah, what? What the fuck? Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> See ya. Bye. Ooh, he liked that, dude. I gotta help the others. Krillin. Ooh. So they knew all about the sensu beans and just let us go on our way. They didn't even feel the need to kill us. Don't go after him. Just leave him be. He'd finally become a Super Saiyan and regained his pride and confidence as a warrior. Getting beaten that badly was probably too much for him to take. His pride, oh no! Even Trunks, who defeated Frieza so easily, couldn't lay a finger on them. That's it, isn't it? No matter how strong Goku gets, there's no way we can win! Okay, here's the plan. You guys go to Goku's house, then move him to a different location immediately. Before we do anything else, we need to make sure Goku gets better. Uh, so, uh, right. What are you gonna do, Piccolo? He's gonna go see Kami! What's gotten into Piccolo all of a sudden? Okay, I think I get it. He's got one final trick up his sleeve. One final trick? What do you mean? So, you know what's in that direction, right? <laughs> no, what could be uh, in that general direction, huh? I'm not really sure. What are you trying to say? That's Kami's place. And? What does that have to do with anything? When I was back on planet Namek, I spoke to Guru. He told me that if Kami and Piccolo hadn't separated, they'd be as powerful as a Saiyan. So I'm betting that Piccolo's gonna combine with Kami and go back to being his true warrior self. But wait, if Kami ceases to exist as he is now, won't the Dragon Balls disappear too? Uh, but if either of them die separately, well, then the same thing's gonna happen anyway, so... Piccolo probably feels like this is our best shot at taking down an enemy this powerful. No way, dude. But what about my fa- I, I mean, what about Vegeta? What do you think he's up to? Relax, there's no need to hide it anymore. I mean, we already know that you're Bulma's kid, all grown up and from the future. Vegeta's the only one who doesn't know. What? Uh, oh, uh, I see. I'm going to meet up with Chaozu. If things get hairy again, I'll be back. What a pussy dude. Gotcha. We're gonna get Goku and take him to Master Roshi's place, okay? Okay. Make sure you tell Goku not to overdo it. <laughs> Tien's just gonna go fucking sit with Chaozu. Overdo it, huh? Yeah, of all the times not to overdo it, now would actually be the time. The androids in my timeline were in no way that powerful. Has history really been altered that much? Yes! Where the fuck are we going? Oh yeah, we're going to Goku's house. Uh, hello! Oh, I thought I heard someone. Krillin, is that you? Where is he? Is he I dying? I was hoping Gohan had come back. Trunks, let me introduce Goku's wife. This is Chi-Chi. Huh? Who are you? I don't think I've seen you before. Hey, 
Chi Chi? Krillin! You're all right! Oh, I was worried sick about you guys! You got a new shirt. How's Goku? Are there any changes? He's fine. He took his medicine, and now he's sleeping. So you're the guy from the future, huh? Oh, yeah. You're the one that beat the androids, right? What in the world? Where would he have gotten that idea that he beat the androids? He's been harping on the fact that he could not beat them. Sorry, but we'll fill you in later. First, we need to move Goku to Master Roshi's place, and fast! All right. It's all packed up. Now we just wait for Gohan. Huh? What's everyone doing here? Where the hell is Krillin? Did something happen? We'll tell you on the way. Just get in. Where the hell is Krillin? The fuck? <laughs> he wasn't even there. Come on, tell us. Have any leads just yet? Do you have any idea where Goku is? Didn't you hear me before? It's more fun this way, taking our time and hunting him down. Regardless, we should still have some kind of game plan. Hey, 16, what about you? You know something, right? Goku's house is located in the mountains in East District 439. Did Dr. Jiro tell you that? He programmed it in his asshole. I know, right? See, this guy gets it. Traveling on foot is a complete waste of time when you're capable of flying. You're such a whiner. It's gonna be more fun this way. <sighs> you know what? You can be a real pain in the neck, Seventeen. You should just fight each other, dude. Kill, 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 kill each other. And one of them lives, and then... Then we don't have to contend with all of them, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. What am I eating? Crackers. You nosy fuck! We're just about at Master Roshi's place. Hey, Krillin. Yeah? We should probably let Bulma in on everything that's happening, don't you think? Uh, yeah, you're right. So, what does that mean I have to call her? Uh, man. You know, your mom isn't exactly easy to talk to sometimes. <laughs> She's the same in my time, too. No awkward, like, conversation with Yamcha about it? Uh, Bulma? It's, uh, it's Krillin. Hmm. Krillin, you're all right? Why didn't you tell me before? Is my son, uh, my future son, there? Huh? Oh, uh, yeah. Why? What's up? Well, I heard from headquarters that we got a call a few days ago from someone out west in the countryside. They said they found a strange vehicle in the mountains that had Capsule Corporation written on the side of it. I got them to send me a photo, which I then tried to match with a database of our products to see who it might belong to. It's Selmo! Oh. But it didn't match anything I could find. I thought Trunks might know something about it. It's covered in moss and it looks really old. Would you mind taking a look for me? I'll send you a pic. Wait, this is... Yeah, it's definitely the time machine I came here in. But how is that possible? I've got my time machine right here with my other capsules. I thought this might be a time machine, but what's it doing in a place like that? Do you know the exact location of the time machine? Show us the fucking picture, well, goddammit! I don't know the exact location, but I do know that it's somewhere out in West District 1050. I'd like to see it for myself. Then I'm coming <laughs> too. We can meet up near the machine's location. I'd like to help you look for it too. Is that okay? <gasps> of course. Thank you. Um... Trunks? <laughs> I gotta, I gotta go. Don't talk to me. It's completely intact. It's strange to see it like this. Gohan's matching my movements. Look at this. It should be in this area. Let's start looking. How the fuck can we miss it? Hi, 
Goma! Hey, you're both here! So this is the time machine you were talking about? Yeah, that's right. Here, I'll take out my time machine. Check it out. This is the time machine I came in. As you can see, it's identical to the other one. But this one looks like it's been here for a really long time. It looks like something made this hole by melting the dome from the inside. Let's take a look inside. What? What's this? Ew! What is it? It's an egg! I... I'm not sure. What's it doing in the time machine? This is some sort of egg, isn't it? <sighs> <laughs> What's going on? It's not just this egg that confuses me, though. Huh? I looked at the onboard panel and happened to see when this time machine left. What do you mean? Obviously, it's from the same time as you, right? Actually, it's from even further in the future. Three years after I left. Three years? And that's not all. The panel showed that it arrived here four years ago. Three years... Three years in the... Three years from when he left the four years ago. So that means this thing arrived here one year before I did. Jesus! Uh... What's going on? Why did this thing come here? I thought the reason the two androids, Goku, and the others fought were different. And the reason history had changed so much was because of my coming here. But this, it's possible this thing might actually be the cause of all the changes. Wait, what's that? What's what? Oh, it's just, I was wondering what that is. It's like sludge, it pooped over there. Uh, what on earth is it? <laughs> it's some sort of exoskeleton. Gross. An exoskeleton? Is it from some sort of mutant bug or something? What if they found Cell like while I was still in this state like this and they just like kicked the shit out of this giant bug? That's what was inside the egg we found in the time machine. It probably grew too big for its skin and then and then shed it. Suddenly it turns into some like monster hunter fucking type shit. <laughs> but how did it end up in this time period? Either someone placed the egg in the time machine, or they came here carrying it. Uh, hey, you guys got a bad feeling about this too, right? Yeah. Then uh, we'd better hurry up and get out of here. Yeah. You guys are going to be at Kame House, right? I'll call you if something happens, okay? Right, thanks. What? What's going on? I'm so confused. The mysteries just keep piling up. A fucking A, dude. An A! Ooh, but I get so much stuff. 500,000 experience again, dude. Oh my gosh, look at all these all these presents that I've I have not been giving to anybody. <laughs>《ドラゴンボール》第1話「ゴーハン」は「ゴーハン」の作者は「ゴーハン」の作者は「ゴーハン」の作者は「ゴーハン」の作者は「ゴーハン」の作者は「ゴーハン」の作者は「ゴーハン」の作者は「ゴーハン」の作者は「ゴーハン」の作者は「ゴーハン」の作者は「ゴーハン」の作者は「ゴーハン」の作者は「ゴーハン」の作者は「ゴーハン」の作者は「カミ、accepted his fate and prepared to make the ultimate sacrifice. It seems my time has come. 
time for me to provide my assistance as a warrior rather than a guardian. What Earth needs now is not a watchful eye from above, but a powerful new defender. Then, around the same time, Piccolo, filled with a greater sense of determination after the fight with the androids, made his way to Kami's lookout. Bio-android fiend from the future. <laughs> Bio-android fiend from the future. I'm actually going to see that old prune. Oh, I'm gonna take all do. these while I'm at it. Oh yeah, give me all these. That'll do. That will Whoa. do. This power is amazing. Fucking take all of his shit. Kami, I assume you know why I'm here. That I do, Piccolo. Though I am Earth's guardian, I stand powerless before the threat to obliterate it. There's nothing more vexing. All right. Then you're ready to do this? To become one again? Of course. Though I am not without my doubts, I'll have you know. After all that's happened, don't tell me you're scared. Well, if I am, would you be capable of alleviating that fear? A long time ago, in my ignorance, I allowed evil to take root in my heart. Those who walk the path of darkness are fated to become demons. This was demonstrated by my other half, King Piccolo. Were I to repeat the same mistake after our fusion, the resulting catastrophe would far eclipse the android menace. <laughs> Skip to the point, old man. Why do you hesitate? Spit it out. Hmm. Well, your forthright resolve certainly gives me a bit of hope. Very well. Answer me this, Piccolo. I knew it's a quiz! Is now truly the time for this fusion? Should we not observe the situation a little longer? The fuck? What do you mean? Wait. Is there something else at play? Something I don't know about? I see you, too, falter before this unknown potential for peril. Wh what I shall ask you once more, Piccolo. Is now truly the time for this fusion? Should we not observe the situation a little longer? No! Oh, come on. Whatever foe stands before us, we will defeat it. It's that simple. I see. Then allow me to ask you one more question. Once we merge, the Dragon Balls will be lost. Well, what of your resolve now? <laughs> Good point. Good point. Losing the Dragon Balls is no small matter. Then, perhaps now is not the right time. <laughs> no, that's not what I'm saying. <laughs> what is this conversation, dude? Then do elaborate, please. No. <laughs> Once we merge the Dragon Balls. Oh my god, dude. The Dragon Balls aren't an issue. If I fight as I am now, I'll be killed. You'll disappear, and the Dragon Balls disappear mm -hmm. too. They're gone either way. So, if we need to send those murder machines to the compactor, we need to take a stand now. I see. Your reasoning is sound. Very well, Piccolo. To one flesh and one spirit we shall return. It seems my time has come. Time for me to provide my assistance as a warrior rather than a guardian. If anything, I think it should be like, we should, Popo should be the one that's like, No, call me! That's right. Earth needs extra power. It seems like I'm the one that's going to provide that. He doesn't give a fuck. Very well. I will lend my body to you. Uh, call me. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I'm going to be the base. <laughs> Got it. Indeed. 
Uh, I will provide you with nothing more than a power boost and my vast <laughs> knowledge. Once on the surface, head to Ginger Town. There is a monster there wreaking havoc. You'll learn all the other details once we combine, as you will have access to everything that I know. Got it. Thank you for everything, Mr. Popo. <laughs> That's the only thing he said. It was just, call me. <laughs> Farewell, Kami. Please, don't die. I am neither Kami nor Piccolo. I am a Namekian who's forgotten his true name. Subtitle still says Piccolo, so. 